I'm going to attempt the impossible. Explaining alternative minimum tax, AMT. I'm going to need a lot more coffee to get through this. So many of my clients get hit with AMT and they all ask, why? 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 What's that? There are actually two tax systems, the regular and the AMT. So you're telling me I need to do a second calculation for the AMT? Yeah. Think of the AMT tax return calculation running along in the background with the regular tax return calculation. The AMT is the hidden scary tax system. Scary. So to know how AMT works, you first must know how the regular tax system works. On the regular income side, you have your income minus your deductions and you get taxed on based off whatever your income bracket is. For AMT, you have your income minus your deductions, but, but, IRS won't allow some of the deductions that you could take on the regular tax calculation. Instead, they allow you to take one big tax exemption. Then you get taxed at one large flat rate. This is your tentative minimum tax. Keyword, tentative. Tentative because you pay whichever is higher, the regular tax or the AMT tax. If the regular tax is higher, then you don't pay any AMT tax. If the AMT tax is higher, that's the tax you'll be paying. And the IRS? wins again. If you need more visuals to help understand this, I made a whiteboard video, link below. Whew.